Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. So Alar Khan here and <coughs> with some examples on uh, the average value. The most easiest, but I just wanted to make a video. So let's pass some time, okay? So example number one. I do let's say with the blue color. This is number one. So if you have a look for the signal, this is the periodic signal. So I would write over here. Number one, this is a periodic signal. Fine. So what is the formula for calculating the average of a periodic signal is 1 over t naught integrate over the period x of t with respect to t. This is the formula. So have a look for the period. The period is 4. The period is 4. So I would write over here that t naught is equal to 4. So you integrate the, the, the function over here. So the average value would be 1 over 4, the integration 0 to 4 x of t dt. But have a look. 0 to 4, now it has two parts. 0 to 2 is a triangle. 2 to 4 is a rectangle. So I could write it as 1 over 4 is taken common and then you have 0 to 2 x of t with respect to t and then you have 2 to 4 x of t with respect to t. So this is now the proper representation. So the average would now equal 1 over 4 and x of t dt. So have a look this is a triangle. So a triangle means 1 over 2 half of the height multiply base so 3 2 3 multiply 2 this is the uh, this is for the uh, triangle right and then you have plus uh, for the rectangle you have length multiply base so 2 and this time we have a 4 so would this be a negative 4 it should be yes it is so we have a negative 2 by 4 uh, uh, we have a 2 multiplied with a negative 4. So the answer would be 1 over 4 multiplied by uh, 3 multiplied by negative 8. So what do you have? 8 8 cancels out so, and you have a 2 3's are 6, negative 6 but over here I have another answer it's a 5 by 4. Okay so where did I make a mistake? Well, I don't think I have made a mistake somewhere. 1 over 4 is this one. 2 cancels out with 2, 3 is this one. 2, 4 are 8. You have a negative 8, right? 8, 8 cancels out with uh, 4 cancels out 2. So you have a 2, 3 are 6. So negative 6 is the answer. Average is negative 6. This is the answer. Well, over here I don't have a negative 6 answer. I have a negative 5 by 4 as the answer and well no everything is the same so maybe maybe I have mistake somewhere in the calculations over here fine that is fine that is fine no problem the second question coming to the second question let's say I do it with the red color so the second question answer it is that it is also a periodic signal isn't it so? It's repeating after each two seconds, two units of time. This is your time period T naught. So I would write over here T naught is equal to 2. Isn't it so? It is. So if you have a look, what sort of a function it is? It's not linear, okay? It might not be shown properly, but it is a parabolic function. It's like this. It's a parabolic signal. Parabola. And you know what a parabola represents. You've seen this. What does a parabola represent? What? Quadratic equation someone said. So you can say in simple words a square wave. X to the power x square. Yes. So quadratic has a maximum power of square. So that's a correct answer as well. So I would write here for simplicity just a t squared. So the average value in this case would equal 1 over t naught 
the average value 0 to t naught and x of t in this case is t squared. t naught I would write it is 2. x of t is t squared. Isn't it so? It is. Now what do you do? So you, you, you take the integration. So 1 over 2, this uh, average would be 1 over 2. Uh, the integration for t squared would be t cubed upon 3 and the limits would be what? 0 and 2. So you directly put 2 in this case. So 2 to the power 3 is what? It's 8. 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the 4 and 4 to the 8 upon 3. So this would cancel out with this and the average value would come out to be 4 by 3. Isn't it? So it is. This is the answer. 4 by 3. Fine. The third question, the third. So the third is a non-periodic signal. This is a non-periodic signal. Well, you can do it in your conventional approach as well, but over here, let's say I do it by another method. I split it into two parts. What do I do? I split the function into two parts. Split x of t into 2. Let's say the first represents x1 of t, which is this particular part. This is 4, this is negative 2. And similarly, your x2 of t would be this one, which is 4. Now, why do I do this? I did this to, to make some simplifications. So, have a look for the first part. This is what? This is a finite duration signal. Finite duration signal. And we've already seen the area, the average for a finite duration signal would be 0. Isn't it so? And have a look for this. This is a step signal. And we've seen for the step signal that the average is equal to A0 by 2. And in this case, A0 is 4. So 4 divided by 2, the average would be 2. Now you combine this. So the average of x of t would be average of x1 of t plus average of x2 of t, both of its, uh, its cons constituent parts. So the average of x1 of t is 0 and average of x2 of t is 2. So which implies that the average for this particular case is 2 and that's the answer. You can also do it in your conventional approach which is like this. The, for a non-periodic signal you have limit t approaching infinity uh, 1 over t, negative t by 2, positive t by 2, x of t dt, whatever you like. I wanted to show you an easy alternative for that. That's all for today. That's all about average. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Most probably with examples on energy and power signals. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.